Hello everyone, it's Lady Tyrannus, and today I have I found a new book at the library, which is a Smithsonian, um, basically updated book of this 2014 one, which I got in a book fair at school. So I today I'm going to discuss the differences between these and see if the new one's worth it to buy. So let's get into it. The first difference is in the Triassic period section. And here you have the Coelophysis, which it discusses a bunch of things about it, and basically the difference here is with the model. As you can see, it is purely scaly, while in the new one, they've added some feathers. See some top of feather right here, and then feathers along it. It's just speculation, and they haven't actually found fossils for it. But it's a very cool difference, and um, I'd say is kind of okay as speculation. Next is in the Jurassic section. With, wait, I need to go back some. Here, these green ichthyosaurs. I'm not sure how to pronounce their name. But in the new version, they appear like this. They're darker colored, and they're basically counter-shaded like a shark for camouflage. But you think this this one looks better. Next, that's it for the Jurassic period. But in the Cretaceous period, we have another difference. With this guy, the Cynosauropteryx. So, here's how it looks, and here's its updated form. It basically has a different face pattern, and the colors are slightly different. Um, next, I'm pretty sure is right here, with the... Uh, I'm not sure how to say that, but it, they found pigment. It discusses in this bottom section that they found pigment here, and here's what the pigment suggested its color looked like. The next one appears like this, the Mutaburosaurus, while the previous Mutaburosaurus looks like that. So yeah, I prefer this one, the new one. Next, we need to go for the Spinosaurus, which appears like this. And the new Spinosaurus is more accurate and appears like this. And here's a section discussing the new Spinosaurus. Um, next, we have the City Patty, which is a dark color, and here it is a lighter color, more likely to camouflage with the Gilby Desert. And next, we have the Eupocephalus, which looks like this. And the Eupocephalus looks like this in the new book. As well as the T-Rex, which I won't show right now. So yeah, here's how they look. Now we're running out of time, but here's the Mosasaurus. And the new Mosasaurus. And... Lastly, oh wait, we have one more. The Pachycephalosaurus appear like this. And the new ones look like this. They added orange eyes and kind of saturated the colors. And then we have the T-Rex, which is not very accurate. And then some speculative feathering was added, which I personally love. You can see the feathering right there. And it's just great they added this. And the last thing, there's also some di things different with the info pages, but nothing too um, worthy of talking about. But the mammoth, which looks like this, was remodeled to look more accurate. And it looks like this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'd say this new version is superior to the old version. 
by a little bit. They cost the same, so if you want to pick one up, I'd recommend picking up this new version. So thank you for watching, and hope to see you later.